these buses arrived early on Friday in Kiryat Shmona, ready to carry people away from this town of 23,000, two kilometers from Israel's border with Lebanon. Among them, Roni Shlomit Yona. She's found delays in their departure difficult. We are waiting for an announcement informing us to where we're being evacuated. We've been waiting for it since this morning. Many here are more angry with the authorities, including this man in the car, the local mayor. One mother screams that Tel Aviv, where she's going, will not be safer. Bibi, she says to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, I voted for you all these years, but this government's failed. My five children were not safe here. Another man tells the mayor he has two children in Israeli army units near Gaza. Where should I sleep, he shouts. With whom should I stay? It's a question asked by many Israelis in the region where 50,000 have been forced to leave in a single week. Since Israel's military has stepped up activity along the border with Lebanon, carrying out artillery strikes and attacks by drone in response to mortar and rocket fire, hotels like this one in central Tel Aviv have been preparing to host hundreds of Israelis evacuated from towns and cities in that northern region. Inside, staff sort through boxes for the new arrivals. Food supplies for a Sabbath meal that will not be celebrated in peace. Willem Marx, Al Jazeera, Tel Aviv, Israel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.